Kelly, and today we're going to be showing you how to use Spike's new all-in-one PRV. The first thing we need to do is unpackage our PRV and make sure all the parts are there. Your Spike all-in-one PRV comes with a gas post and a pressure gauge. We designed the all-in-one PRV to be fully integrated. This means that you can monitor your pressure with the gauge, add pressure via the gas post, and release the pressure when needed. First things first, be sure to wrap the threads of the pressure gauge and the gas post with pipe tape so that you make an airtight seal. Next, use a wrench to screw both the pressure gauge and the gas post into the base of the PRV. Now our PRV is fully assembled and we are ready to attach it to our fermenter. The Spike PRV has a well that can be filled with a sanitizer solution. This is so the PRV can release pressure through the liquid instead of the air, preventing air or contaminants from entering the tank during the pressure release. This is similar to using an airlock or blow-off tube. Today, we are going to attach the all-in-one PRV to our Spike CF10 conical fermenter. We are going to be attaching the assembled PRV to the fermenter lid with a 1.5-inch clamp and gasket which already comes with each spike fermenter. If you'll be using with another fermenter, be sure to pick up a gasket and clamp as well. With the all-in-one PRV now attached to the lid of our fermenter, you are ready to set the PRV. All that means is your PRV will be set to release pressure at your desired PSI. To start off, first, fully hand tighten the knob. The PRV will now release at 15 PSI. Today, we're going to set our PRV to release at 10 PSI. First, set your CO2 regulator on your CO2 tank to slightly over your desired pressure. We'll pressurize to 12 PSI today. Connect your gas inlet to the gas post and pressurize the fermenter. Once your fermenter is pressurized to 12 PSI, slowly loosen the knob counterclockwise on the PRV, which will lower the pressure that the PRV releases. Monitor the pressure gauge on the PRV. When the pressure reaches your desired amount, stop turning the knob. Now, your PRV will release when the pressure in the tank goes above the new set point. After you stop turning, it is normal to see some bubbles release for a minute or two. To empty the well while the PRV is in use, remove the cover from the drain barb. You can now use a small cup to capture the sanitizer liquid. You can also fit a piece of 1 quarter inch ID tubing to this to make it easier to drain into a cup or bucket. Safety should be one of your biggest concerns when it comes to a brew day. Safety first, beer second. A key part of this is the ability to depressurize the fermenter. Here at Spike, we made this as easy as possible for you. All you have to do is depress the top plunger and it will depressurize your fermenter. Be sure to drain the sanitizer cup first so you don't get a sanitizer shower. We also made the all-in-one PRV super easy to clean. Be sure to remove the pressure gauge first. Then, to clean, just submerge the entire PRV in your cleaner of choice and rinse with water. Well, there you have it, Spike's all-in-one PRV. Please don't hesitate to reach out to our customer experience team and make sure to check out our website, Instagram, and Facebook page. Thank you.